What's up everyone, welcome to Physio Velo. In today's video, we are gonna do two videos out of this bike fit. So we are gonna do first your gravel bike, your Factor LS, I'm not sure, that, is, is it the right name? Yeah, this is the Factor LS and after that we're gonna do my road bike, the very light and aero Ostro van. Am I allowed to touch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You'll, you'll touch it a lot today. <laughs> So we'll make two videos out of these two bike fits on the gravel and the road bike. Make sure to subscribe to Physio Velo and Adam's channel uh, to see all the details about bike fitting on road, um, road bike and gravel bike. Let's go! So this is a balance, uh, there's three balance points and okay. we will uh, see your center of mass on the bike. Mm. We'll see new stuff on the bike. The, the, okay. th this is kind of a research project going okay. on for okay. us. Because as a, as a low point, I was maybe one of your first clients or something yeah. like that. So uh, yeah. it's a nice I, change, new place. Adam was, Very a, updated. was an early adopter of Physio Velo and he came first in clinic, I think it, 2016, we'll show you a picture of this. And uh, he reached out to me in 2016 for uh, his bike fit, on, I think on the TT bike, right? Yeah, we did the TT and the road bike. Yeah. But we did two, like, the first one was a TT bike I think when so. I was with Silver. Yeah. And we did another one with my road bike and um, TT bike when I was with Elevate. Yeah, that's so true. So we're three bike fit. So you yeah. saw also the second clinic. So every time I change bike, pretty much I come here. That's, yeah. that's the story. <laughs> he's, a, he's a wise guy. He's a wise guy. <laughs> so you can hold just the back when I will, while I put the front here. Yeah, we will make sure to put that after. Because everything here, this bike fit platform is also a very nice tool because we can put any bike on this platform. We can put fat bike, we can put 29er, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's kind of a, mm -hmm. a struggle for bike fitter mm. to have a bike fit platform. Oh, they yeah, can no, fit sure. any. That fits all the bikes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So as you see, this is like a part of the feedback sport of yeah. Neon mm -hmm. that we use to build it. Huh. So right now, while I'm doing this, Adam, do you want to change yourself or you're already suited up? No, I'm not suited up. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put my so cycling kit you, on. You brought two saddles. They are the same saddle, They're right? the same, yeah. Perfect. Maybe, yeah. Unless you tell me it really doesn't work, I think that's going to be the saddle I'm going to use, but I never know. No, and the thing with Adam is, like any elite athlete, he knows pretty much what he needs. <laughs> so I'm just helping him reach this position he already know because we, we, we did a lot of bike fit together. So we already pretty much know how to fit him on the bike. So the saddle, this saddle, you rode this saddle for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, I know you, this saddle. You know the well. saddle and yeah. it works for you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we will put this on the bike while uh, you get suited up. And this is um, all the little parts you'll need. When you buy a factor, you have... Nice boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Gift You have boxes. a lot of, of small parts that um, Perfect. are here to kind of optimize. So Addison put this, all the spacers. I'm not sure exactly what you will need, but there is... Yeah, a... so you will do the cut with Addison. Yeah. Of the, of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. right when we're done with the fit, I'm gonna you go, go to back the bike to shop Addison. and he's gonna put the bolt bike bike ready, I guess. Perfect. Because now it's not racing ready. You know? So this is an important part of bike fitting. If you're having a mechanic, uh, you need a good relationship between the mechanic, the athlete yeah. and the bike fitter to make sure none of those <laughs> play with the game of others <laughs> in, in this. So Ada is, is very much aware of the necessity to uh, dialed a very good fit and um, because Addison was a racer and still races bike, yeah. uh, he knows the importance of bike fitting. So, uh, yeah, I actually think the way you're going to do it, you're pretty much going to send the measurement to Addison. And yeah, Addison is to make gonna, sure yeah, yeah. he can he can. Just going to dial it. in everything that's to it. make sure everything is on point. Okay, so yeah, right. that's the gravel stuff so and that's the road stuff. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Good, so you can go suit yeah. up at that. The coordinate. Yeah, this. So 
So these are the coordinates of the bottom bracket. And now we tear the balance, the tree balance. So we will get the center of mass, so center of gravity. We'll get it here when Adam will step on the bike. So we can do a tear. So um, yeah, I'm not sponsor correct. I'm sponsor correct, but that's not my fit of this year, Bio Racer. Um, I'm actually wearing the Bonneville Bio Racer bibs because they're so comfortable, but um, the kit is gonna be ready in like two weeks. So be, stay tuned for that on Instagram if you want to have the first look at it. But for the time being, I have my jukebox sticker that I will can just put here. And we have the river from Olivier Saint-Denis that is just here. So that's pretty much my kit, the Monster Hydro. And we stay hydrated as always. So even though those, these guys are sponsored, their, their cleats are very dirty usually. <laughs> <laughs> you need you need some some of those park tool pick tools to remove all the dirt. Yeah. You have any question for me, Abba? While I'm doing my no, meditation of the the, 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 <laughs> the beautiful thing actually about the now kind of choosing all of my sponsor is that I, I get to choose what I want to, to yeah, ride. To ride. I'm really happy about that. Yeah. Going back to Shimano, that's a big one for me. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to actually have the feel for the factor bike for my first time. It's gonna be my first time just like be on the bike. Yeah, because this is kind of a very high end, one of those very high end bikes you, yeah. you get the chance to ride. Yeah, it's gonna be for sure the most high end bike I've, yeah, I've, yeah. I've ridden in my life. So, uh, for sure. So how do we set up those cleats, Ada? How do you do it by yourself usually? Uh, I just look at the previous shoes. Okay, <laughs> that can be done, but that can that could cause some uh, difference between shoes. I kind of have an idea though of how my cleats are. So, so um, but do you know where you're you looking at a little bit? Um, like my red, uh, my my right foot. The cleat is always a little bit towards the interior. Okay. Because my knee is like really you need in a, the interior. A slight so my, rotation. Yeah. The left leg is a little bit better, but still, uh, it's a little bit um, on the interior side. The cleat, yeah. so my my foot is a little bit on the exterior. Um, so one of the things we can say about this is. Usually we don't try to fight those asymmetry yeah. on bike fit. Mm -hmm. You have some asymmetry on the bike, as almost mm -hmm. all rider, riders do, do. So we are not uh, trying to fight asymmetry on the bike. What we will try to do is just put the, the ball of your foot just a little bit further of the, mm -hmm. the spindle axle, and we will make sure that the cleat is rightly positioned when you will step on the bike. So right now you have a lot of <laughs> dirt. What we will do now, if you have any question about the steering column here that you see, Ada probably won't ride this. It's mm, yeah, kind of, maybe. I don't know. We'll see, but I don't think so. Kind of dangerous for <laughs> a I long, a long yeah, puncture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we will make sure to set up you in the right place, and then Addison can do the cut. Yeah, he will cut his flesh. Yeah, yeah. So it it looks very good, but you have trouble sailing. Yeah, I don't know. You what do you do with people that come in with a like <laughs> flush cut thing and you're like, oh, you, you need to put it up like... You know, the only time I have a problem with this is when they are like, are you flexible? Can you touch your toe? And they're like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right about there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when I have problem with that. But uh, other than that, I'm good with uh, slam that stem, but it's, it's mostly for elite athletes like you. Yeah, I mean, slam that stem if you're losing all your power. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, and I think today what you will see is Ada is positioned on the bike. He gets very aero. No matter how low the mm -hmm. stem is, it's all about the rider's position. Yeah, so. like, uh, especially like in TTs or even in road biking, like, it's not because you're 
lower low. that you're initially like more aero. Actually, the higher your 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 handle bar, it will kind of help close that like that frontal area because there's like if you're super low and you're like this, it's it's not. You're like better a than being that the same height, but with your hands like this because it creates less. Let's drag. Um, yes. Yeah, let's drag. So right now, what I'm doing is not how Adam will ride his bike. It's it's just to make sure that we can fit him on the bike, and then he will cut the steering column, put the right uh, screw on top and stuff. It's not meant to be ridden like this. <laughs> Don't do this at home. <laughs> and then we will do the torque wrench also. Always some torque. You want to see my favorite tool in the clinic? I'll show you my favorite tool. <laughs> Follow me. Oops, this is a mess. It's not here. <laughs> Where is my weather? I need this tool. Looking for my tool is one of my favorite activity. Always wondering. Where did I put my tool? Okay, I'll be back, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, lots of tools. Ah, oh, here it is. I need a sponsorship, Or oh, you can get a sponsorship with Silka, I guess, huh, Adam? I have one. I can show you the contact if you want. Do they have a really nice star crunch? Oh my god! Man. Oh my god! Really nice star crunch. <laughs> Everything is in the, is the, um, um, material que je Titanium. Titanium. Yeah. He was he said, what is the material I'm looking for? Titanium. I'm very good at real time translation. Yeah. Or, or forcing the audience to learn a little bit of it. <laughs> French, what is French? Is there people still speaking French? <laughs> okay, so the saddle height that Ada is used to is always in between 805 to 815 millimeters. Yeah, that's nice. Approximately, yeah. So we will start with that saddle height and we will look at Ada's foot. Measuring tape. Oh, sitting on something. So is this the same crank length you're used to? Yeah, if that's 175, that's the same. No, it? it's 172.5. Okay, so no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this one is 175. Okay, so you have two different crank length on both bikes. Let's um, let's talk about this. Yeah, let's um, <laughs> let's let's what. Fit it with the 172.5, but maybe you have in mind it? the possibility of Yeah, yeah. we can see one. you for a follow-up session if yeah. you change parts. But I, I'm, we'll have a good idea with this one, because this one is 175. Yeah, but it's a gravel fit, so the angle of the yeah, stuff the are not the same. So this is approximately 6 centimeters. I need to go down. Okay. What do you do if you need to change from a 172.5 to a 175? Do you change something? Do you don't change something? What Will you, you change something? Will you change something? Will there be part available for you? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the first question. Um, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, what, would you change something? Well, yeah, maybe a little bit, but this is something we should look in clinic. Because this is a question I get often mm -hmm. asked on Instagram and stuff. There's mm -hmm. many people reaching out, but without seeing you on the bike and measuring stuff, mm -hmm. it's really hard to give you a, okay. a response, an answer that is, uh, <laughs> that is a good. All right, so let's see Ada on his bike. So to step on this, it's a bit high, but you're used to ride your bike, so it should be fine. All right, for the gear setup, you can choose a gear and just ride like uh, normal aerobic uh, stuff. Just relax. Oh, so it's still a bit high, huh? How do you what? feel on the bike? Um, c'est sûr que mes, mes pieds ça fuck you. Oh, ouais. so my feet, like I can already feel it. Like this, they're a little, both of them are towards the anterior too much. Oh. 
So I, usually I don't start with the handlebar, but just because the shifters are really at a bad yeah. place, I'll yeah. make sure to uh, be close to what we will get. So one of the things with bike fitting is usually you do uh, FSC, foot, okay. saddle, and cockpit last. Okay. Okay. So when you know the, <laughs> when you know the, the rules, yeah. You, c you can cheat them. So mm. now I start mm -hmm. with the cockpit because it's <laughs> yeah. it's it's kind of so off that I know yeah, it yeah, will. Yeah. Uh... Puis moi, um, je suis un délinquant avec mes cocottes vers l'intérieur un peu. Oh, so Ada <laughs> likes <laughs> to have his yeah, like like this. Very much <laughs> inside. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so usually they know what they like when they ride their bikes a lot. I this just is feel like it's better for my wrist, you know? Yeah, but it's not too much. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not one of those. It's guys. not one of those riders <laughs> we, won't, we won't pronounce the name. So I will just make sure that you're both symmetric on that. So as you can see here, Ada will talk about a lot of stuff. It won't be necessarily in the right order, but uh, it's not my job to edit the video. <laughs> <laughs> here, 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 what we have is a is a combo of a stem and handlebar. Uh, it's a 140 millimeters yeah. with a, how wide is this? Is this a 42? That's supposed to be a 40, but I don't Can know. You, it looks like a 40. Yeah, it's a oh, it's a third. 39.8. Yeah, and I then like small and I think there's a little flare actually. I like it. There's a 1.5, maybe two centimeter flare on this. If you don't have a flare on your handlebar, bar, you're missing so out. If you don't know what a flare is, is the 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 measuring distance between this and this is not the same as at the bottom of the drop. So usually it's flare out just a little bit. So usually what we see in the bike industry is the handlebar cockpit is two centimeters wider at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see on the gravel bike if they are yeah. uh, crazy as some other brands yeah, to go not, like. They're not super crazy. <laughs> not crazy, super. All right, so what we see right now, if you want to look at his foot, uh, Simon, if you just want to make a little bit of a slow motion on this and see his whole leg also. Ada is not very stable on the bike. If you go uh, just a, a little bit back. Oui, juste un mot. Ah, non, mais juste voir toute sa, toute, toute sa jambe qui déplie, juste pour montrer que c'est trop haut. Ouais, que le bain est trop haut, là. So, what you see is uh, a saddle that is still a bit too high. The plantar flexion is uh, exaggerate. Uh, it's too much. Yeah. We'll say that. <laughs> and then you have probably some pressure on the perineum yeah. because it's a bit too high. Everyone, boys and girls, will get pressure on the perineum when the saddle is too high. And then we will need to go down probably a centimeter, maybe eight ouais. millimeters, so you can step off the bike. Is it that the height of the different, I think? Yeah, yeah, we didn't check that first, but we'll try to get... I, I like to work like this, like low-hanging fruit <laughs> first, and yeah, then yeah, no, that's good, we, yeah. get, we get... Uh, we you get don't need the, to remove them. To the, to the finest yeah. part. So this is this is 90 uh, this is 81 centimeters. So you're probably gonna ride. I say là avec 80 pour vrai là genre yes. honnêtement. It was really too. Oh. Um, d'après moi là je pense que la. So I, I think that one of the big difference uh -huh. is that those cleats seem to be a little less high. Yeah. And that maybe is a difference. Yeah, because this add up to yeah. your saddle height at the end of the day. Yeah, I'll try 80. So you know bike fitting is just a game of guessing and error. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. It's a, yeah. No, I mean. it's not. It's because we know that, we know, we know mm. your, your measurements, so yeah. it's not that hard. Oh, this is funny. I, I think the feel of this bolt is quite strange. Oh yeah? Yeah. Maybe I'll ask Addison then. Yeah, you can yeah. make sure that there's. I'm not drilling into, I, I did that with. Don't say the name. No, 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 I did that with my Pinarello. So oh, yeah. um, it was a bolt here. It was a very good system, actually. Like the, it was like so simple, but you had to put something in between for the bolt to like, I guess, screw on. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't put it before traveling. Um, so I screwed into the carbon 
Nice. The carbon fork, so Pinario had to so buy me So what is fork. your thought on direct sale from... <laughs> huh? <laughs> what do you think of direct sale of bike to clients? Huh? You always need a mechanic. Yeah, this no, is yeah. the takeaway message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> you uh, need a good mechanic. Yeah. You have a, a 10k bike. You need a good yeah. mechanic. Go. Yeah. You can step on the bike. <coughs> oh, it's still a bit higher. Right, that's true. No, I don't know. I'm just more, talking. More so, um, <laughs> it. It, it feels close to what you close know. Close to what I ride normally, but if you say it's too high, I'm, I'm willing to try. So one of the thing with your bike fit, Ada, is that because you're racing at a very high level, you're mm -hmm. used to have your center of mass mm -hmm. very up front yeah. from the, the bottom bracket. Yeah. So right now you're at in between 40 to 51 millimeters, mm -hmm. uh, your center of mass is at the front of the bottom bracket. That okay. means that uh, when you ride the bike, yeah. uh, you have more uh, more uh, weight on the front end okay. of the bike. Yeah. But this is a bike that is intended to be racing okay. and cornering. So th we will see the difference between in mm -hmm. the two videos between the gravel mm -hmm. and the road bike between your center of mass. It will be very interesting. Cool. So the other thing we'll look at is the the cups, just to see where you're at. I think you'll be in front because center of mass is at the front. So yes, you're a bit in front. You're used to that. So um, okay. So next thing you will do, Ada, is you will just bike, just ride, and you will just step on the saddle, just without your hands, just straight. As toi droit sur ton vélo. Yes. Very good. So how's the slope right now? Is there a slope? Are you stable? Is this what you're used to? So this is a 3.8 mm -hmm. degrees down. Those short nose saddle, oh yeah, this, this, look at this. I have a good idea. So these no short nose saddle are intended to be ridden kind of a down slope, not much more than like four degrees mm -hmm. down. And these are especially uh, adapted to you because you're riding in a very aggressive position and your pelvic, mm -hmm. uh, your pelvis is really like a good rotation mm -hmm. at the front. So yeah. you're really sitting on the uh, the, in French, it's rameau pubien, so in between the pubic bone and the ischiatic yeah. tuberosity. So this is why you're very comfortable on this saddle. So mm -hmm. saying that, we will just remove your shoes and go on the table, show some, uh, some of your quality. <laughs> or my nut quality. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but just, just to, 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 let, to, to let people know why we can do such an aggressive bike fit with you. So first of all, uh, you can just uh, stand up uh, 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 facing me and you will go down touching your toes. So for me, it's like kind of here. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so if at home you're able to do this, you can buy this bike. <laughs> no, but I mean that this is very exceptional and the, the full-time job of Ada is riding his bike and taking care of his body. So this is just one part of your yeah. scales and this is why you're so good on the bike and this is why I think you choose to come here is because we assess your mobility your strength and everything so Ada is training a lot uh, to taking care of his body and this is why I love him <laughs> <laughs> No, but this is why I love to do his bike fit because we can do uh, such like aggressive uh, kind of uh, magazine bike fit yeah, yeah, yeah. because you're a magazine guy. <laughs> no, because he's taking care of his body. Yeah. So you're but, like, if I can add to this, um, yeah. I think a big part of physio velo is that Guillaume is a physio at, um, at the base. So we really understand the body. Like it's something to fit the bike aggressively but it's another thing to know that the bike is fit according to my body. 
Yeah. Um, because like you can fit your bike super aggressive, but if you're not able to push the watts because you don't have the flexibility or your muscle cannot... They will come back here because they will be injured. Yeah, exactly. So, because yeah. one of the thing about... Uh, uh, you can lay on your back, just your head like... One of the thing with high performance cycling or high performance sport, what's with you there? You want to move it? It's on you. Actually, no, it's okay. I, I did it, sorry. <laughs> So one of the thing is staying away from injuries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the, like uh, like for me, I would say that um, having that flexibility and like stretching a lot every day or form rolling a lot is not that much about being aggressive on the bike. That's for sure something, especially like TTing. But the, the main thing is avoiding injury. Yeah. So the main thing about bike fitting sh should also be fitting the bike accordingly to those skills yeah. oh, that yeah, we will sure. that we will look at because a key to performance is not getting injured because if you're injured you don't ride your bike you don't improve and you don't race so uh, yeah when you're performing the same movement for like 30 <laughs> hours a week like if the movement is just slightly off like it it's easy to get yeah for sure injured. okay yeah. so i'll just ask you to uh, and adan knows about it because he's still studying and he's a, <laughs> he's a science guy so you can lift as 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 far as you can by yourself okay so adan is is further than 90 degrees okay. we can measure it but you're almost like 95 degrees okay. so this is a prerequisite that we will need when we will fit your TT bike. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for the TT yeah, bike. Yeah, it will be a TT bike. <laughs> okay, so you can do your other leg. So you have a very good um, SLR, straight leg raising. The mm -hmm. next thing I'll do, I'll do it by myself, is hip mobility. So hip mobility is very important, like how much flexion do you have? But the other thing is you need to look at, uh, if you stay relaxed at that, uh, internal rotation. This is pretty amazing. <laughs> External rotation, so Ada is, uh, out of this world. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's just like when I thought about your fit, I was like, the, the main reason why mm -hmm. we do those fits, I knew I was like, I know I'm gonna test that, and mm -hmm. you probably will be better than two years ago <laughs> when I saw you. <laughs> so this is very uh, amazing hip mobility. He has also a lot of uh, core strength that you train like. Yeah. Twice. Especially in the winter. It's probably better now that it will be in three <laughs> months. <laughs> so when we, when we assess Adam, we do a lot of movement, we do a lot of specifics, but we won't uh, annoy you with all of those specific uh, physio stuff. If people get in clinics to, uh, for bike fit because they have a specific injury, we will mm -hmm. make sure to uh, address the specific injury, give them exercises. Uh, right now your schedule is already full of exercise and <laughs> taking <laughs> yeah. care of your body. So you can step off the table. I think everyone now understands why you're able to ride a fit like this. Yeah, I, I kind of got the feeling that now they're pretty much like straight, but I'm a little bit like uh, you prefer, penguin. Yeah, you um, prefer a, a bit of yeah, external. Yeah, a little bit. So the way my knee, um, I'm, I'm always working on it to try to do exercise to put it a little bit straighter, but especially the right knee is, uh -huh. as you can see, like when it's straight, my my yeah, and, uh, and you, you need to know that everybody is usually in between 0 to 15 degree mm -hmm. of external okay. rotation, so it's pretty normal to have this, uh, this feeling about okay. your cleats. The cleats, you have three, um, three positions. You can move forward and back, mm -hmm. uh, side to side, and then rotation, so we'll give yeah. the rotation needed. One of the things with the cleats that we will do next is if the saddle is too high, People sometimes have a strange feeling to be able to push straight mm -hmm. because the saddle is mm -hmm. too high. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, uh, when we see people in clinic um, concerned about their, um, their uh, cleat position, we, sh we really need to start by mm. putting their saddle okay. height right. Yeah. Because if your saddle is too high every time, yeah. it, no wonder the cleat position, you will feel like it's, it's oh, yeah. not stable. No, no, yeah. So what you're working, I, I'm curious about the exercise you're working on with your, to make your knee stable. Do you have jumps and stuff we can see on your, yeah, on like, your channel? But uh, yeah, I mean, with every exercise, like with every like one-legged exercise, I uh -huh. try to be as aware as I can. Um, to try to push it a little bit towards the exterior and make sure my, my, my foot is still really anchor. Um, but I actually don't have like super specific stuff to get it there. Maybe you can 
propose one. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we can uh, we can for sure make a session mm -hmm. about maybe when you come for your TT bike mm -hmm. to make sure okay. you have like specific exercises mm -hmm. for that because you need to work on the. Sometimes people they have a lack of motor control, mm -hmm. and it's not a bike fit problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah, yeah, motor yeah, no, control yeah, yeah, problem. Sure. Yeah. So. Uh, What do you think about that, Simon? Simon is filming right now. <laughs> That's why the, the video is so good. <laughs> so this is like four millimeter lower. Okay. Well, look, uh, we won't move the kit so far. Okay, so with the, you can step on the bike, uh, Adam. So with those bikes, with those integrated cockpit, the thing right now is we don't have as much control on the 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 position the long the the stem length. Mm -hmm. This is the, probably the hardest to say stem length. Stem <laughs> length. 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 So um, we have uh, 140. So we will propose to Adam to fit his saddle accordingly to that, and we will see if he's always reaching to his cockpit like this. Maybe he'll need a 130, but I think he will be fine with mm -hmm. a 140 right now. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the rotation is uh, is quite good because this is parallel to this, and these are both parallel to the ground. So mm -hmm. I think the rotation is is comfortable. And if you would go with, if you were to go with a shorter stem, mm -hmm. you would probably, if you go down the drop, you would probably get stuck mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. That won't be comfortable. No, it kind like especially. Um, like those are really tight, you know. Yeah, the, um, we can we can have a look at them if you remove your hand. Like the reach of the handlebar is probably like 85, maybe 90 max. Mm -hmm. So it's not very very. We have shorter like FSA Omega who mm -hmm. are like 75 okay. of reach, but this is kind of a, okay. a compact. This is a yeah. very compact, yeah, compact. Uh, flavor of the day uh, handlebar. Okay, so right now, if you ride without your hands, just on the saddle, are you on a down slope? Just a little bit, huh? Yeah, I Okay, am. so we will tweak the... I, 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 <laughs> yes, I suggest the answer, but I saw his pelvic and he's like, what, yeah. what, I'm just yeah. sliding down. So <laughs> we will change the angulation just a bit. And you can... Ah, oh, you want me to do it while you ride? No, no, I... No? <laughs> I, I, I you decide. <laughs> His bike feels so stiff. It's crazy. Like it, it. Like I can just feel how stiff it is. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, I feel bad, man. Okay. So he said it was good. <laughs> so I feel bad. It's. Um, uh, yes, I feel bad. <laughs> it, it's the right it's feeling. The, uh, for real, it feels very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so right now, compared to what we saw before, his ankle motion is much more, um, much more normal in what we see in cycling biomechanics. So a little bit of plantar flexion, a little bit of dorsiflexion when you come back. We will make sure that both sides are symmetrical because this is very important. When someone is too high on the saddle, sometimes he will choose a side to ride. I mean, everyone do that. This is very good. Yeah. So you, you, you probably ask yourself, how did I measure that? I didn't, so now I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing with uh, measuring athletes, I think the first five years I measured a lot, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> I measured less and less. <laughs> I just make sure to give you like, because right now we are uh, fully uh, um, electronic, so you will get a, a bike fit uh, sheet uh, yep. on my, I will do uh, the bike fit sheet on my iPad at the end of the day, at the mm -hmm. end of the session, and you will get all your quotes for all your bike. Yeah, that's, that's very helpful. That's very like, important yeah. for, uh, for traveling with bikes. You need yeah. to have like, those traveling. Okay, so right now, one of the questions many people ask is, how do you set the saddle height? We set the saddle height with uh, the knee angle here. The problem with measuring knee angle, as you can imagine, is if you don't stabilize the position of the foot, you can get as many angles as you want, okay? So is the... So, okay, my knee angle, you'll see that my knee angle... Yeah. 
what I think my knee angle is going to be okay. different from the other side. Okay, so yes, sometimes we see a difference in knee yeah. angle. Uh, this is not uh, too... Uh, to, uh, not common? <laughs> no, not no, common. no, no, I mean this is very common and this is not a, 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 a breaks to performance and stuff. We will just make sure that the gap between the two legs is not that much. Yeah. We will accept like two, three degrees because mm -hmm. we know that measurements error of us yeah. doing bike fit measurement, even if it's not goniometry, it's like dots on the shirt, mm. the, the dots can move and stuff, so we have a margin of error that we need to uh, analyze when we do the, the, yeah. the, the knee extension. So the position of your foot right now is at the, at the most extended point is here. We'll make sure that we get the measurement of this. 35 so in between we want 30 to 40 usually and I know that you probably ride your TT bike in another video we'll see your mm -hmm. TT bike you like it I think a slightly higher saddle height you're really like on the edge of mm -hmm. falling from mm -hmm. your bike don't fall at that <laughs> So here we get 32 degrees, so it's a three degrees difference. Because we do static measurement, uh, we will we'll, we'll assume that this two to three degrees measurement, we will redo uh, goniometry and make sure that it's pretty close one to another. So you can ride right now, Adam. So now we did like what? Uh, three saddle height changes. Yeah. We did one tilt saddle changes mm -hmm. and we did one setback saddle change yeah. so right now you feel close to the position you're used to yeah i would say that my position is maybe like two millimeters higher the seat that's 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 what you're feeling. used to no the this is a little bit lower lower than what you're like used two to million, like the very like a slight okay perfect so i'm not uh too uh, concerned about that especially if your knee angles are not yeah much symmetrical i would be um i would uh, keep uh, i will step back from putting you higher mm -hmm. to increase this asymmetry because right now your pelvis is really symmetrical on the bike mm -hmm. so i would be uh, shy to put yeah, you I higher on the i think you will need to ride the bike because yeah. when you do the bike fit uh it's not a goal for me to Say this is the perfect bike fit. Mm -hmm. You can go ride ten thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah no Because you will need to ride it to know if it's. So right now you're pretty symmetrical. I'm just looking at the width of the shoes compared to the width of your pelvis. Very simply with. So this is very symmetrical. I use the laser to see if I should go to a narrower width of stance on okay. your, your, your cleat, but I also use the laser to see if the laser come at the same place on the right and the left, so mm -hmm. I can see if the people, if a person is yeah. off mm. one side or the other of the saddle. Right now, you're very symmetrical, so as I said, I would be shy to put you okay. higher on the bike. I think you need to, um, to ride it at least like 10, 12 hours, okay. and then we can and come we back can together okay. and talk about it, okay? okay. So right now, I think we need to fine tune the position of the cleat. Yeah. As you said before, yeah. you would like a little bit of more external rotation. So you can sit and remove your shoes. Ada is uh, telling me about his, um, his preference. preference about uh, a wider width of stance. And he said it may be correlated to me using a lot my fat bike right yeah, now because because the, the Q factor of your fat bike yeah. is probably like six that's oh, great like it's not centimeter this, like <laughs> wider than this yeah. so we can assume that it may be why you, you would like it mm -hmm. a little bit um, wider so we will just put it a little bit wider and I put a little bit of rotation yes. as you as you asked for yeah, like I said, normally the rotation is all heavier on the right side. Because my right side is the weak side with the knee angle. Yeah. yeah. So the bike fitting process should always be like a conversation between the, the feeling of the patient, the subjective part of the mm -hmm. patient, and then my objective part of 
what I know, what I see. No, uh, for sure. Day yeah, in yeah. and day out. So you need to find an agreement. And at the end of the day, Ada is riding the bike and I'm not. So he decides. Yeah, but <laughs> you still have some expertise there. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I think it's like you said, it's just both of us feeding on kind of our knowledge. Yep. Like yours is technical and mine is more like feeling based. So you see, I like to use my measuring tape to make sure the setback of the cleat is yeah. the same on both That's sides good, because yeah. sometimes yeah. It, it's not printed right mm. uh, on mm. the shoes. Okay, okay. So you cannot oh, yeah. always trust that. Uh, and right now we were uh, both at good, 30, okay. 38 millimeters, so it's good. I will make sure that it's still good after my change here. So what was your biggest problem in the last like two to three years on the bike? Did you add any... Uh, like kind of pain or something? Yeah. No. no. So, but I mean, sometimes it, like my, my feet will get sore. So the bottom of my feet, mm -hmm. when it's really hot, I'll get like this part of my feet yeah. really sore. Okay, yeah. so that may be something we, we uh, because you said that, mm -hmm. I would put to your attention that if you go with a wider width of mm, stance you and more, you're always pushing yeah. on the first toe, that may be mm. a bit too wide, okay? So you can yeah. stay aware of that and just make sure that yeah, maybe, maybe we can go to mm. a narrower mm -hmm. width of stance. Maybe that's the reason. And you would be more like, at least even. Yeah, more even on the feet, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, so just yeah. be aware of that yeah. next time it happens. Yeah. Because other than that, you know, before I before I would have back pain, but I like honestly since I've come here, I don't have back. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not. This kidding. is not so, a paid hat. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> no, like since I. Uh, because you were riding your saddle too high. Probably, yeah. I don't like, know, probably. That most of people they ride their saddle way too high. Yeah. But no, we're not way too high, but yeah, a little bit too high. Couple of millimeters too high when you do like mm -hmm. 20 hours a week, 30 mm -hmm. hours a week. It's it's still like yeah, uh, it wouldn't hurt like just training, but like when I was racing, yeah, it would hurt. And uh, yeah, once I was with Silver and we did the fit, I was uh, yeah. So the the, the 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 pelvic stability of the rider on the saddle is very strongly correlated with uh, risk injury of your back. Okay. So if you're stable on the saddle, mm -hmm. that's why I'm shy of putting you higher, ah. because it would make you... Yeah, no, and you. then you would do a lateral flexion with your... Yeah. All day long. Yeah. And then you can get mm -hmm. exhausted yeah. with, your, with your back muscle. Okay. And then that feels, that feels bad. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> He's happy. I'm happy. So that's really interesting to, uh, because I'm just, uh, we can talk in the mirror. That's a nice thing. Uh, if you go with a wider width of stance, yeah. and then you, you try to correct your knee, mm -hmm. you're probably better off with an hour width yeah. of stance. Yeah. Then you won't have to think about that. Yeah. I so, don't really try to correct my knee on the bike. Okay. Oh, that's good because this yeah. this would be a problem because you would yeah. always be mm -hmm. uh, trying to, to do something with your knee. I try to think about it mostly when I do like um, like of the bike exercise, you know. Yeah. Um, so right now, I think the stem length is good. Yeah. Yeah, right. because your your shoulder angle is good. No, if you go possible. if you go in an aero position. I think you need your your your, your uh, shifters a bit lower, right? Just a little bit. No, no, no. You like it? Um, okay, so this is really good. Maybe that's the gravel spirit. Yeah, right yeah. There. If you go on the side, Simo, and just show like angle of. Uh, I kind of would put it a little bit in the inside, a little bit more. <laughs> no, okay. when I'm aero, yeah. I, I like to put the. <laughs> you like aero? The, so I, I'm not legal right now for UCI though. No. I need to do that. Yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. So right now, what you see with Adam's back is pretty exceptional. Okay. You don't see that too often. This is why he's able to ride this very aggressive, a lot of cockpit drop. There's a good pelvic rotation, a good lumbar flexion. Sometimes people they they go um, uh, looking for their flexion throughout the thoracic spine, but right now. Uh, he's going all through the lumbar, thoracic, so it's very good. Ada is just, he was meant to ride his bike. <laughs>
<laughs> no, <laughs> it's true. It's, uh, I think, okay. So if you come back to your standard uh, trading position. Standard is pretty much like that. Yeah. Okay. So what we see here is like a 85, 90 degree angle at the shoulder. If we go like this. So this is 90. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Like in strong position compared to uh, the ground is mostly like 22. I think this is what we had last time you came in clinic. We will look at the, at the chart. So this is pretty standard position for Adam. And now the foot is good. It, uh, at least it's what you're used to. Yeah. We will need to reassess in a couple of uh, weeks when you came back from USA. Yeah. How, how did you manage that? Mm -hmm. And if you have problem in the US, you just send a, a, email to you. a private message mm -hmm. and we can have a look at that, okay? Because I'm not too sure about the width of steps, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. because you're used to that, we won't make big changes because you already have a new Because your feeling is that probably I'm too wide. Uh, Maybe. No, I don't <laughs> know, but I would put in my, in my physio sheet that this would be an answer if you come back to me. Like, make yeah, sure yeah, yeah. to reassess uh -huh. that. Uh, I cannot say for sure that it's that. I, I can say though that because you're riding a lot, your fat bike right now, mm -hmm. this is probably, as you said, oh, yeah, I'm that's so what I'm used to right yeah. now. Yeah. So do you want your shifters a bit inside? A little bit, yeah. So right now the bike fit is almost done because one of the things that we do usually with the rider when we are when we've done with the foot, the saddle, we finish by the cockpit, and now the cockpit, as we say we said before is integrated so we don't have much to play Adam already ordered something that he knew would fit him right so this is a 140 with yeah if you if you really want the good looking stuff <laughs> you should make assess. sure yeah. you maybe do it like on your bike Fit fitting bike. bike yeah yeah like just make sure maybe to do your fit before you before order. you buy yeah there's a lot there's a lot more of uh, fit before buy that is happening right now. Oh yeah, now. I think that's maybe the best idea, yeah. honestly. Especially with those new bikes that if you want the best stuff, everything is kind of integrated. Yeah. So, yeah. so you can step back on the shifters and tell me if it's enough. I think this one is a bit much, no? It depends on how you feel in your hands. I said that it was hot. You like this one? Perfect. So you a bit much yeah. more here? So one of the thing with bike fitting is, there's a lot of thing to say about bike fitting, but <laughs> one of the thing, one more thing before you go, a new iPod 15. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, um, what I meant was, uh, you need to assess different cadence, different yeah. power output, because the feeling will be different. So um, I think you should try it out. These are new pedals, these are yeah. new cleats, this is a new bike. There's so many variables that I think that if the goal was to achieve perfection today, it won't happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to ride it, and then we need to reassess in a couple of uh, uh, weeks yeah. to see what needs to be improved. Yeah. And if by this time that we saw each other again, you have problem, you reach out to me and I can give you cues on what you should move and mm -hmm, et cetera, mm -hmm. because Makes sense. It's, a big, it's a lot of changes for yeah. today. So right now, Adam, uh, it's good. You can step off the bike. I will take all the bike fit measurements.